Rashid, I'm so glad you're here. And it's cool, this is just such a cool thing to be on a team making Passion Power Confidence and then being able to interview one another because we have so much to offer as well for the viewers to kind of give what's going on in our lives and make it real personal like that. And so I feel honored to be able to interview you and I'm glad we serendipitously met through a bunch of people we know and we're helping each other now in so many ways. And I know you are a young entrepreneur doing so many things in the world already and you are the owner and founder of Epiphany Marketing and you're an expert at branding and marketing and putting stuff together and doing web series and filmmaking and events and all kinds of things. And I just wanted to know, it's so rare to see somebody as young as you being such a wise go-getter. And I wanted to know, how did that start and who has been your mentors that have stood out to you and, and how did this all come about? Well, um, for me, my journey um, as far as entrepreneurship has been, it's been, it's been an interesting one. Um, it all started when I was about nine years old. Okay. Um, my father was an entrepreneur. But my father also passed away when I was nine years old. Oh, got it. Um, but I, I, you know, it's for me now that I'm older. It's it's not so much of a sad thing. It was it was the shift um, where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, my, my the people that I looked up to and uh, my idols and the people that I really said I want to be just like them. They weren't really the celebrities or. Um, the the mega superstars they were they were the uh, the African American African American uh, men in the community that were driving the nice cars the suits and stuff there because that was something that I could touch yeah it wasn't something that was far out there got right? it so um, for me it was um, really just finding out okay what am I able to accomplish in a short amount of time to keep gaining keep moving forward uh, exactly right? um, I believe that. Um, I don't need to do so much as a, a quantum jump. Um, as long as I can gain something from someone, I can get their two steps or their three steps and then keep going, keep going, keep building on it. Got it. Um, my first mentor, um, this is going to be kind of odd because I'm in business now. Um, my first mentor was actually a French teacher back in high school. Okay. Um, sometimes you need those people in your life that just sit you down and, and basically just say, what are you doing? Um, and she was that person for me. Um, I came to her one day with a problem and she told me, okay, this is what you need to do. You know, you need to stop doing this, stop doing this, stop doing this. Mm. And I was like, okay. Like, what was one of the things to stop okay. doing? So, for one of the first all things... all of a sudden like, you got this mischievous look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you reverted back to, the, to that student. <laughs> <laughs> one was <laughs> make the class on time. Uh oh okay. The other one was um, clearing out your environment, the friends that you hang out okay. with. Okay. You know, really, you have, sometimes you have to filter... Um, what's being deposited into you. Mm -hmm. So for those moments that you need to make that withdrawal. So that, make, that withdrawal is as pure as possible. <clears throat> and then um, she gave me that perspective. My next mentor um, a few years later was a uh, newspaper publisher mm -hmm. in San Bernardino from West Side Story newspaper, uh, Mr. Allen. And he was really the one that started my whole journey with business. Mm -hmm. um, when I was at the newspaper, my job was to go and interview um, business owners in the community and ask them um, things that the community wanted to know or things that the newspaper wanted to know. And after the camera was done rolling, I'd always ask them, okay, what does it take to be successful? What's the mentality that you have to have after that? Mm -hmm. um, I gained so much perspective and um, just basically wisdom from them. And so one day, Mr. Allen called me into his office and he said, Rasheed, I think you should start your own business. I laughed at him and I said, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and so, you know those moments where yeah. you kind of just like, somebody throws something at you. Yeah, they see greatness in you, but you didn't see it yet. Exactly. And so, um, from then he said, okay, all right, I'm not going to push you, uh, but think of a business name and then we'll, I'll get back to you on that. And then so um, I went home that night for a couple of days. I, I prayed to God and I asked God, because you always have, sometimes you have to have um, a higher influence or someone or something to give you some inspiration. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, you're, if you're trying to go after something that you can't see, sometimes you need to go past what your faith will allow you to do. And so um, I prayed to God and I said, you know, I love Greek mythology. I love mm -hmm. it. And so um, when I woke up, I had the word epiphany in my head. It's the Greek root of the word. It's epiphany, moment of great enlightenment. 
And so I went to him the next day and said, I have the name. It's Epiphany. And he said, okay. My next paycheck, he wrote Epiphany Marketing Firm on the check. Oh. I could not cash my oh. paycheck for two weeks. Wow. <laughs> for two weeks. I love it. Uh -huh. And so, <laughs> finally, That's a force. finally, I went to him and I said, Mr. Allen, I can't cash this check. <laughs> and he said, and he wrote me another check to go do the DBA. And said, so okay. And everything. Wow. And so that just started everything. Um, and so, I guess my my next mentor is where um, a man by David Puido and uh, Ruben Estrada. Uh -huh. um, David, he gave me a perspective that that sometimes you don't need a mentor in one area. You need a mentor in every area that you're trying to create a balanced life. You have Epiphany Marketing now and you help so many people and what do you feel stands out with your company with branding and marketing other than other companies out there? I would have to say it's the it's the educational value that I bring to my clients. Mm -hmm. um, where I started from San Marino, there's a lot of businesses that were closing. Um, my business has been around for about five years, and a lot of businesses were closing, and you had to figure out and find out, okay, how can you get them the, the most bang for their buck? Because mm -hmm. um, you, you, you're working with a uh, constricted budget now. Yeah. And so you had to be very, very creative. And so when I was, and that helped me home in for when I got to those clients that could afford the budget and mm -hmm. afford all these different things, I was still able to get them the most bang for the buck. And that got turned it. into value. And so um, whenever I start off with a company, I always, I always want to know how they started. Because from where they started, I can then take that genesis and then I can help them really expand and stretch out that through whether it's their services or products, um, whatever that core um, genesis is for their brand. So they can reach out to their audience, their clients, mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. Got through, it. Through the product packaging, websites, um, anything. Basically. So it's like the inside out. out. So exactly. Awesome. And I know you have, and this is interesting because I know you have an annual big entrepreneur event coming up and I want you to talk about that but now I see that you're discovering how do you get a whole community behind someone through these community events and so talk about your event that's your annual event I get to speak at coming up you know I didn't even really look at it like that way I guess I guess that is like there you the, go you know <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow in a hot moment <laughs> um, I would have to say um, so not a mentorship Night Mentorship is an event that I created um, two years ago, and what it really became and really what it is, is um, it's the joining of students, entrepreneurs, a chamber of commerce, small business owners, all these different mindsets and perspectives of uh, business and how it's built and the foundation of everything, mm -hmm. and I bring them together um, for a night where they really focus and zone in on mentorship. I have um, a speaker speak about image mentorship course and also belief in oneself, mm -hmm. which you'll be the speaker <laughs> of. And um, so Bob Dumnell will also be the speaker for mentorship. And so um, there is going to be just, the night's just going to be special. Because um, whether you're young or old, whether you're starting a new journey or ending an uh, old one, um, you need a mentor in your life for that. Mm -hmm. Someone to take you or guide you into a new area that you can't do by yourself. It's, yeah. all, it's not that you can't do it yourself, it's the unlocking of a different perspective. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's Beautiful, <laughs> I'm excited. Well, I'm honored to be able to speak there. Thank you for all this insight and it amazes me how much wisdom you already have and how much it's going to be imagined in 20 years from now. It's like, whoa, where is he going to be? So that's exciting and I'm excited to See you grow on this journey. Definitely. Thank you so much, Dan. All of the fashion that you've seen here on the show, worn by Kim Summers Egglesey and some of the guests, have been provided by Detour. To find out more information, go to DetourStyle.com.